Canning Superstars. This is Professor Don Bush. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long. And I've got great ways to explain accounting. Hey, we're, today's lesson is about double declining depreciation. Uh, taxes are based on this. But before I get into that, I just want to share with you, I've got a web page called accountingsuperstars.com. And I've got all these videos uh, listed by topic. So that way you can find them and Look up topics you want to learn about. So check it out, accountingsuperstars.com. Also, boy, it's been a cloudy day today. Um, I live in Colorado at about 8,500 feet up in the mountains, um, way above Denver, have a great view of Denver, and uh, we're supposed to get a, a huge snowstorm tonight, so I'm waiting to see what happens. So anyways, let's get on with the show here, folks. So um, double declining depreciation method. Taxes are done this way, so that you'll learn a little bit about tax law here. Not a lot, but a little bit. There's a little more to taxes than, than what I'll explain here. This is a basic introduction. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to do two examples. One example is with no salvage value at all, and that's the way taxes work. And the second example is with salvage value. So there's a little difference, but it, it's all really easy. Here we go. Uh, the cost of this beautiful computer here. I don't know what this is. Gosh, it's probably from about 1978 or something. But anyways, this beautiful computer is for Fred's snowblower service and it costs $10,000. My goodness, maybe because it's an antique. And uh, it's expected to last five years. Okay, so this computer is expected to last five years. And also for taxes, computers are considered to be five-year property. So at the end of the uh, useful life, the salvage value, zero, no salvage value. So here's the formula, and this is the key. It's really easy, easy to remember. Here it is. So the formula to figure out the depreciation rate is you just write down 100%. What you do is you ask yourself, what score are you going to get on your accounting test? 100%. So write down 100%. And then what you do is you divide it by the number of years. In this case, it's five. And then whatever result you get, multiply it by two. Easy. Okay, so in this case here, 100% divided by five is 20%. Times two, 40%. So here you go. 40% is the rate, folks. So um, each year, uh, they'll take a 40% rate of depreciation. But here's how it works, though. Now, the beginning book value, right here, beginning book value, we'll put $10,000. That is the original cost. The depreciation rate is 40%. Depreciation expense, all you got to do is multiply $4,000. So the ending book value is going to be $6,000. So let's write down the journal entry for the first year. So the first year depreciation, well, it's going to be $4,000. Here you go, and the adjusting entry, or the, um, well, the adjusting entry at the end of the period, what we're going to do is we're going to debit depreciation expense and credit accumulated depreciation, and it'll be for that $4,000. All right, there we go. And then carrying it down to the income statement and balance sheet real quick. The income statement here, uh, expenses go on the income statement, so depreciation expense is on the income statement. So what goes on that balance sheet, folks? Well, computer equipment for one thing. So what was the original cost of that computer equipment? The original cost is $10,000. And so you just simply put in $10,000 right into that spot. And the accumulated depreciation up to this point, since this is the first year depreciation, is going to be $4,000. Of course, every year this accumulated depreciation is going to grow and grow and grow. And the book value here, folks, is $6,000. What's the book value? Well, the book value, it means, according to the books, this is what it's worth. But that may not have anything to do with reality, folks. Um, reality and book value are, can be two wildly different things. So uh, anyways, let's f finish out this chart now that you know how it works. So, so all we do to finish out the chart to find the second year, we'll take that ending $6,000 and put it right over here and multiply it by 40% once again and we get $2,400. There we go. So $6,000 minus $2,400 and we get 
3,600, folks. So 3,600 is the ending book value. So in the second year, for the second year's depreciation, we would just replace this with 2,400. And it would follow the same process. So let's finish out the chart, though. 3,600 gets carried over here to the beginning. Multiply that by 40%. And the depreciation expense is fourteen forty. So, uh, thirty six hundred minus fourteen forty is twenty one sixty. And so we put twenty one sixty here, multiply it by forty percent, and we get eight hundred sixty four. In other words, two thousand one sixty times forty percent is eight hundred sixty four. So the ending book value two thousand one sixty minus eight sixty four is 1,296. Now, we have to be careful in the last year. This is the part where you just got to watch it a little bit. Now, this is the very last year. There's no salvage value. So we want this ending book value to be zero. All right. We want it to be zero here. So the only way to do it is take depreciation expense of 1,296. And that will zero it out. Now, sometimes students get a little excited. They say, wait a minute. 1296 is greater than 864. Is that okay? Sure, it's okay. Why not? And so in the last year, just take whatever it takes to zero it out. No salvage value. Here is example number two. Folks, the numbers are identical, and the but the computer isn't quite identical. I have a different computer here, but it's still really old. This uh, computer cost $10,000, and the computer is expected to last five years, and this time we have a salvage value of $2,000. So I just want to show you how this all works out. Now the formula is identical as before, just not any different whatsoever. It's 100% divided by the number of years times two. What score are you going to get on your accounting test? 100% divided by the number of years, five. And whatever result you get, multiply it by two. There you go. In this case here, you get 40%. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start out this depreciation chart identically. Also, $10,000, no different, folks. Uh, don't worry about subtracting out the salvage value at this point. Depreciation rate, 40%. Depreciation expense, $4,000. The ending book value is $6,000. So the table is looking identical. 6,000 times 40% times 4,000. I'm sorry, times 40% is 2,400. And so 6,000 minus 2,400 is $3,600. Carry that 3,600 over here to the front. 40%. 40% of 3,600 is 1,440. All you do is subtract 3,600 uh, minus 1,440 and you get 2,160. So here we go. Now, um, we might have to be a little careful here, folks. So be uh, watch this. So if we did this, if we put 2160 here, and if we multiplied it by 40%, we would get $864. And if we were to carry it further, uh, 2160 minus 864, we'd be lower than our salvage value. Look at that. We're lower than our salvage. So we, we really shouldn't do that. We want our salvage value to be $2,000 right up here, 2,000 bucks. Okay, so what can we do? What can we do? Well, let's erase this right here. So here's what we can do. On uh, year four, we're at 2160. Well, what if we just take $160 and call it a day right there? I'm gonna put it in as dollars here just so it looks better. Just call it a day after 160 bucks. So that way our salvage value would now be $2,000. So let me uh, subtract that here for us. 2160 minus 160 is $2,000. So folks, we're not going to need year five at all. Kind of weird, isn't it? Five-year property and we're trying to depreciate it over five years, but we would stop at this point. So, um, so the moral of the story here, folks, is that when you do not have a salvage value, Make your depreciation chart all the way down. All, use up all the years, all five years in this case. But you have to be careful in the fifth year to make sure it zeroes out at the end of the fifth year. That's the trick there. And then if you do have salvage value, 
You just do the depreciation chart identical as before, no different, but you got to watch out that you don't go below the $2,000. And, and that's what we did here. We don't want to go below the salvage value. So 2,160 minus 160 is 2,000. We'll stop right there. And folks, um, the journal entries would be the same. The first year depreciation is going to be 4,000 bucks. The uh, journal entry is going to be identical as before, no different whatsoever. Depreciation expense, accumulate depreciation expenses go on the income statement the computer is going to be listed at its original cost of 10 grand and for the first year depreciation it'll be 4000 accumulate depreciation 4000 and again the book value is $6000 so there you go folks hope this helped you out and uh, hit that like button and the subscribe button it helps the channel that way i know you guys like this stuff check out accountingsuperstars.com and we'll see you next time. Over and out.